And now, for the continuation of Phil Perkins' Spiral into Environmental Awareness, featuring Phil Perkins, the aspiring environmentalist and unbathed hugger of trees, who came to the conclusion that, in order to be taken seriously, he must come clean. However, to keep his behaviour in line with his conservational beliefs, he refrained from showering in hot water and made sure that his time spent cleansing was brief. Phil looked at himself in the mirror and smiled because he withstood the chill, and then he recited a Walt Whitman poem in celebration of the fact that he lowered his energy bill. As Phil was drying his hair, dissonance invaded his head. He knew the power used to shape his straw-colored locks could be safe if he let the air dry his hair instead. In lieu of his new goal, which included not looking in the mirror, Phil made the resolution to let his hair grow. He took on an image that made his environmentalist mission clearer. Phil's unruly look caused him to fit in with a rhythmic sort of crowd. He hung out with friends who valued nature's offerings and who liked to play their drums out loud. Phil was pleased with his new hobby and ignored the majority of those who ridiculed. However, Phil could not help but feel self-conscious of his hippie style in the proximity of the well-kept Tully field. In an act propelled by the components of desire and emotion, Phil chopped his golden strands and shaved his head and declared a shining scalp as a signifier of his devotion. When Phil realized that, at the whims of adoration and attraction, he broke his vow not to cut his hair. All he could do was look at his reflection and groan and pout and stare. Phil, however, found a unique way to deal with his remorse. He realized his rash decision enabled him to contribute to the world's necessary cyclic force. For you see, Phil's hair was put to use in a way that he saw was best. The tufts were used to make a home, as his hair ultimately provided structure for a lovely bluebird's nest. So the moral of our story, which was woven without the help of thread, is that it's not what's on one's head that counts, but it's what's in one's head that matters instead. <laughs>